Swoozy. 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 All right, enough of that bullshit. We got Swoozy in the building today, man. Welcome back to Kato's Reacts Facts. Roommate drama. Sounds self-explanatory to me. Uh, drama with roommates, right? Shit, last time I had roommates, I had a nigga that never cleaned his dishes up and another one that always was in his room sleep. So, and I'm a loner, so I be in my room just doing what the fuck I do. So, yeah. Everybody ain't that lucky, though. But, we're going to see what Swoozy's talking about today, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. We're going to get straight to it, man. Find the original source video in the description. Find my socials down there. Y'all can send me videos. Follow me. Yada, yada. All that good stuff. We're going to get straight to it. Hope y'all enjoying. We gone. Let's go. I learned real quickly that I can't do roommates. People just annoy me a little too easily. I'm home, and then all of a sudden I hear, bam! Somebody just slams the door. Like, why do you have to slam the door like you're Thor? And now I'm triggered for the rest of the- Nah, yeah. It be, yeah, because when people be slamming doors, it be like, damn, is you cool? But it's usually my- Clearly somebody's upset about something. Or shit, sometimes you'll just push the door and the window carry it. Like you got your AC wind blowing or something. You ever like close your door but you barely put effort in it just slams on its own. So that could happen too. So, but yeah, it's like, damn, is you cool? Sometimes you'll hear some running around and shit. And the whole time it's just somebody running to get their get keys from the room. It's, it's like, if you, unless you, if you're a paranoid person, it'll fuck with you though. I, I get what he means. Y'all about to get some T, capital T E A. Friendships are about to end. So much tea that I had to wait a few years before even thinking about talking about this. And in my waiting, other YouTube animators started talking about roommates. So I had to wait even extra years. So I think the dust is settled. So now I can jump on here. When I first started my YouTube... You the godfather animation, sir. You drop it, everybody's coming. It don't matter what they do. Just channel. Kidding. I was living at home with my mom and dad. By the way, if you have any brothers or sisters, that brother or sister is your first experience with a roommate. I went to a community college, so bro, I, I thought that was him with a wig. I was about to say, yo, Susie, you got some explaining to do, bro. I thought that was him with a wig on. I was like, wait a second, Susie. This is him right here. I thought this was him. <laughs> no, I'm tripping. I was like, wait a second. You got some explaining to do, Mr. Swoos. I went to a community college, so I didn't experience the whole go off to campus, live, you know, with a roommate. I didn't experience any of that. So when I got cast for this TV show, I had to move to L.A. Here's a quick rundown before we get into the team. You get about, what was that, $230 a day cash. So let me paint the picture. We were put up in the Oakwood apartment complex they paid our bills so that means we didn't have to pay for electricity we didn't have to pay for water we didn't have to pay for jack on top of that they gave us thirty thousand dollars a year and two hundred and thirty dollars cash per day all right life should be good we shouldn't have any roommate drama what so no nah, this man really got the life of legends bro like what this dude is a world-renowned YouTuber, and then you've lived, like, on TV shows and shit and all this other stuff, too. Like, I didn't know he did this. Damn, this man really living. Ever, because all our bills are paid. They even paid for my flight from Orlando to L.A. So life should be good and no roommate drama because all our bills are paid. Every team was broken up into your own little apartment. You walk in, here's the living room. You go to the left, that's a bedroom that sleeps two people. You go to the right, it's another bedroom that sleeps two people. So yeah, I had one other person that slept in the room with me and then two people slept in the other bedroom and that was our unit. And I liked these guys. They were all great. Matter of fact, they all watched my videos and I had just started doing YouTube around this time. So they were all like, bro, we just started, we just found this website and we're watching your videos. That's how it all started. <laughs> But then I quickly declined into chaos. The first sign of trouble in paradise is I quickly noticed nobody wants to take out the trash. So the trash would just start piling up because it becomes this game of Jenga to see who could pile on the last piece of trash. That's the first thing I noticed that started to shift the mood. Yeah, you got you got to set some ground rules. Like everybody take it out. Have to takes a turn this week to take out the trash. Now, sometimes I would just take it out because I'd be like the first one to leave. But it's like, come on, bro. I'm, I will not be the only one doing it. I'm not cleaning up after nobody. You feel me? I take out my own trash. I clean my own room. Keep my stuff clean and sorted. 
That's your responsibility too. That's how I treat it. In the house to go from kumbaya to. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I have a bedroom that I share with somebody and then they have a bedroom that they share with somebody So we share a bathroom after two days. I come home and my toilet paper is Gone like it's the empty roll and I'm sitting here thinking like dude. Do you eat the toilet paper? We're just gonna call this dude Kevin little things like toilet paper become a massive I've never once thought about toilet paper once in my whole life No, until you get the right type of room the wrong type of roommate. I mean You'll never realize how like quickly some shit can go. Like you don't be thinking how quick tissue goes until you get like a terrible roommate and they use like half the roll every time they go to wipe their booty. Like damn, bro, did you having diarrhea every time you wipe your butt? Like what's going on, cuz? Is you leaking? Like you got a faucet leak back there, bro? Go to the doctors, get that checked out, cuz. Like, like dang. Or start using paper towels. Start using paper towels. Baby wipes. Get your own baby wipes. Put them in your little closet. Cool. We ain't got no problems, bro. But you using all the tissue is crazy. No kizzy. And it's four people. Four booty holes got to get wiped with them one rolls. Come on, bro. Everybody ain't got no uh, triple roll. Everybody ain't got four ply. You know what I'm saying? And y'all rich, too? Stop playing. I was living at home. But now, it's like an act of war. I had to replace my toilet paper three times in one week. So I started hiding my toilet paper. Imagine that when you have to come home and hide all of your stuff from the people you live with. Also, something else Kevin used to do real quick. Kevin used to come home and play music on his laptop out loud. I love reggaeton. I love Spanish music. I love Latin music. I love all of it. You have $300 headphones that you just bought from Best Buy sitting right there chilling, doing nothing. All my bills are paid. So if this is the worst thing I got to worry about is hiding my TP and listening to Daddy Yankee, life is pretty good. Me catching the vibes early, I make my footprint real small because I start coming home. I don't know what it is, but shout out to them, I guess. And I start noticing people don't want to wash their dishes and nobody wants to come home. What, to I, what I said to start? What did I say to start? I had a roommate that never washed his dishes. Have your own dishes, all right? When you have roommates, buy your own select dishes, bro. And keep them in your reach, in your room, in your part of the closet, in the cabinet, something. Have your own section where you have your dishes. Cool. There will be no problems. You wash your dishes how you wash them. They they take their sweet time with thirds. You ain't got to worry about filling that sink up because you'll, you'll keep yours clean. I was the one that did that. Most of my roommates I've ever had was like that. They always kept their dishes dirty, piled up, and, 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 and they would wash their dishes probably like what? Once every two weeks? All them dishes in the sink, and you wash them once every two weeks. We got a whole dishwasher, bro. Like, damn. And no toilet paper while gasolina is blasting as a soundtrack in the background. Your eye starts twitching after a week of this. I already feel tensions are building in the house. So I say, hey, guys, I bought a stack of paper plates since none of us want to wash dishes. Anybody can use them. Then paper plates were gone in 60 seconds. I don't even use them because guess what I Yeah, do? yeah, pretty much. We got Cheesecake Factory right across the street. We got Subway right down the street. So I'm eating out every single day. I don't use a single plate. 200 IQ, come holla at me. How about after three weeks, they call it intervention on me. We need to talk. <laughs> Okay, what's up? You haven't really contributed. We started a community thing, but you haven't put in any money for it, bro. What's up? And I says to them, I say, I bought my own garbage. It's next to my bed. I have my own toilet paper. I eat out every day. So I don't. So what in the blue fin doll FDF do I got to put in? Y'all need to learn how to wipe y'all booty correctly and how to clean up after yourselves. That's what y'all need to be worried about. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry about what I'm doing. I, I got my stuff checked out, right? You worry about wiping your booty right and washing the dishes. And if you got problems wiping your booty with the tissue, I can only imagine how you scrubbing when you're in that shower. So we ain't going to talk about that either. <laughs> any of the community, anything. So there's that. 
And they had no response because there is no response. I already thought about all this on day two. I've unsubscribed from all this drama. Got me crawling through a secret tunnel to get the toilet paper. They didn't like that too much. Even though I was right, all I do is stay home and practice. So even when it comes time to party, they don't invite me, which is fine. The part that I'm a little annoyed at is I'll be sleeping on a Friday night and at 2 a.m. I hear bleh, bleh, wake up and Kevin is vomiting in the bathroom because he took 97 shots at the club. When I would wake up to go brush my teeth the next morning, I see resi- yes! Now there's crusted forensics everywhere. And you have the nerve to try to call an intervention on him. Well, I'm acting like I'm Susie. You have the nerve to call an intervention on me saying I'm not participating. And you can't even clean up after yourselves from throwing up and you barely wiping your booty correct to where you got to use half the roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ladies, don't you start either. We didn't heard about some of y'all roommate situations in bathrooms. And so y'all should be just as bad, if not 10 times worse. Oh, don't even get started on them lady prisons. We not even gonna go there. There is crust and residuals that he missed because he's drunk. So y'all know me. If I'm getting annoyed at somebody slamming a door, imagine now adding all these things up and then judgment day happened. One day, you know, I'm gaming, gaming, gaming. And then I realize I haven't eaten today and it's midnight. Nothing's open. So, what, in my shoes, what do y'all do, right? I'm gonna tell you what I did. I opened up the pantry for the first time since 1999, and I'm like, wow. And the first thing that catches my eyes, listen, I'm black, we're predisposed to love grape soda and Cheez-Its, and I see Cheez-Its, so I'm like, bruh. You know how Abu looked when he saw that jewel in the Cave of Wonders, and he's licking his lips? That, that was me. Now I start doing, you know, I start working this out of my head, I'll just, Take a quick handful and no one's gonna know, right? Shh. All right, all right, Susie. All right, Susie. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Don't, well, if you gotta gauge these situations, though, bro. Some people don't care if you welcome to their snacks, just don't eat it all. And some people are such a stickler, they'll write them. Well, I'm gonna write my names on mine. I'm gonna write my name on mine. Flat out. You got me food. Because ain't nobody finna say, oh, ain't nobody say it was my. Yes, it did. It has my name on it. My name is on there. It says Gato. Like, like I know you can read. I know you can read. You gotten this far reading, right? Okay. You, you read my name in Sharpie at the top of the box before you opened it and smooth and went in my. Yeah. So I'm, I'm one of those people. But if you ain't got no name on it, you gotta at least ask or something. And clearly, this is a pre pre Uber Eats and DoorDash times. So, like he said, he probably can't even call nobody to deliver nothing. Like everything closed, unless it's like McDonald's. You know they don't deliver. So you gotta go down there, and he probably can't even close one. Excuse me, but that's why you gotta buy your own groceries. Have your own little snacky snacks. Write your name on it. Let everybody know it's yours. So ain't nobody having no confusion. And y'all gonna be good to go. Oh, don't tell nobody. I even do like an Indiana Jones, replace it really quick with a sandbag. I look at the top and I see that the seal <laughs> has not been broken. So now it's code double red. I'm wholesome. So what do I do? My stomach is grumbling. Y'all can see my rib cage. <laughs> I grab the Cheez-Its. I put it on the desk next to me and I keep practicing. Now it's in the living room. So this is the first thing you see when you walk in. They're off at the club. I'm practicing, I'm practicing, I'm practicing. One am comes around, I'm looking at them cheeses, them cheeses looking back like, <laughs> you know you want to, <laughs> right? I'm not doing it, all right? Around 2.30, club's closing, they come walking in. I'm sitting, they walk in, they're like, ha 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 ha. <laughs> they see me, they see the cheeses. So this is what that whole intervention was about a few weeks ago. So I know how this looks. So I see the look on their face. Hey, <laughs> whose Cheez-Its are these? <laughs> Mine. So then I says to him, I says, is it cool if I have some? Bro, wow. Yeah, if you know what? Whatever, dude, whatever. Stomps <laughs> off to his room and slams the door. I have not even <laughs> opened the Cheez-Its. There's... You got, I, I can see why he was mad though. And he's probably was drunk too, bro. So that just added on top of it, bro. You got to gauge the situation, bro. Still sealed. And I hear the door fling open. Bro, what the F, 
man. You, you, you're the, you're the main person saying you don't want to contribute, and then you're eating people's stuff. I says to him, I says, bro, I haven't even opened these, but you know what? I don't even want your cheeses. I lied. I really wanted them. Cheeses. <laughs> I played for the team Complexity, and Jason Lake was our manager. He had a very strict rule that every morning we had to work out for an hour. I'm on this treadmill looking like Skeletor because I haven't eaten in 32 hours. And Jason walks up to me and he says to me, he says, Hey, Suez man, you've been a real big problem with your roommates. You're using up all the toilet paper. You're eating everybody's food. I don't know. The lies is crazy. Yeah. First of all. Buddy with the cheese is going to have to see me. And then I'm asking for my room to be relocated. I need to switch rooms. Because, <laughs> uh, nah, what you ain't going to do is blame me for what y'all niggas doing. That, that, that's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. You can't wipe your booty correctly, I'll right, get my own tissue. You can't wash your dishes, I'll get my own issues. Uh, dishes. Once you lie on me, bro, to the boss, man. You you on some whole timing, bro. And now you got you gotta see me, bro. You gonna have to see me, bro. You gonna have to see me, bro. We're just talking. Rumor that you don't do the dishes, you don't clean up after yourself. Come on, man. They asked you to contribute and you were like, no! I heard you started throwing lamps and then you slap them in the mouth. You never wanna take out the trash. You're blasting Harry Styles, like with no headphones. Kevin just bought some headphones, bro. He'll let you use them, just ask. Leave it to me to be unproblematic. And it'd be a problem. And I'm sitting here just like, all this is over some Cheez-Its that I didn't even eat. He ran to the manager. And I'm sitting here listening to Jason like all our bills are paid. Why are these people complaining over some Cheez-Its? Word? Wow. But all this to say, remember this story next time one of your friends comes up to you and is like, we should be roommates. It's going to be awesome. Just like sex in the city. It's not. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> I wanted to see if he had anything else to say. Uh, it, it depends, though. It really depends. Because when I have, when I have roommate with some people, like at first it was indifferent. Like I was in this little program for work, and then um, we had our own little roommates situation. But then when we got out of those rooms, we moved into our own little crib together. It was me and two other dudes. Like I said, other than the dish problem, which again, they weren't my dishes, so I didn't care. And Buddy sleeping all day, and he barely cleaned his room, but that he had his own issues, so I ain't gonna put him out there. Uh, so that's out the bro, though. Um, other than that, I ain't really had no issues with my roommates, to be honest. So it really just depends. You just gotta have some cool people to be around. And once you see you got some problems, either speak up about it as soon as possible, bro, or like, Find a girl that lives in the same building with you and live with her. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. You lie on me to the boss, bro. Yeah, you have to see me. Then you blame me for everything. You got to see me, bro. Bro, gonna have to go. That's what made drama by Swoozy. Swoozy. I don't know why I have to do that. You know. Hey, y'all comments, roommate drama, y'all had, bro. I'm pretty sure if we've all lived with people that wasn't, like, family, we've all had, like, a roommate situation before. Especially for y'all that went to college. I want to know stories, man. Let me know y'all roommate stories, bro. Uh, like and subscribe. Share the video. Send me other videos to react to. Follow me on social media, all that stuff. Video's going to be linked in the description. Shout out to Swoozy. I'm going, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Happy Monday. Peace.